Unit 4C, Chebyshev's Theorem. Chebyshev's Theorem is very important because it works for any distribution, regardless of the shape of the distribution. So if we have a distribution with a certain mean, mu, and a certain standard deviation, sigma, if we mark off on the number line one standard deviation above the mean, that would be mu plus sigma. Another tick above the mean would represent mu plus two sigma, and a third tick above the mean would represent mu plus three sigma, where each of these intervals is the standard deviation. Similarly, if we measure one standard deviation below the mean, this tick represents mu minus sigma, mu minus two sigma, and mu minus three sigma. What Chebyshev says is that regardless of the shape of the distribution, we don't care what shape it has, between one, two standard deviations from the mean, in either direction, one, two standard deviations from the mean in either, in either direction, in there, in this interval, would be at least 75% of the scores in that distribution. Similarly, within three standard deviations of the mean, one, two, three, or in the other direction, one, two, three, Within three standard deviations of the mean, in that interval, would be at least 89% of the scores. And this is true regardless of the shape of the distribution. So I don't care what shape, if, if I made a histogram here, I don't care what shape this has. Doesn't matter. Regardless of the shape of this distribution, Chebyshev's theorem holds. Assume the mean height of Danish men is known to be 70 inches with standard deviation of 3 inches. If we know nothing about the shape of the distribution of the heights of Danish men, A, what percent of Danish men are between 64 and 76 inches? And B, at least 89% of Danish men are how tall? Well, to start this problem, we could make a number line, put the mean in the center. The mean is 70. Make three ticks on each side. And we have the standard deviation is 3 inches. Each uh, interval on this line represents 3. And so therefore, one standard deviation above the mean would be 70 plus 3, or 73 inches. Two standard de deviations above the mean would be 76 inches. And three standard deviations above the mean would be 79 inches. In the other direction, one standard deviation below the mean would be 70 minus 3, or 67 inches. Subtract 3 again, 64 inches. And finally, a 61-inch Danish man would be three standard deviations below the mean. Now, regardless of the shape of the distribution, I don't know anything about the shape of the distribution. Maybe the shape is like this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the shape is. Regardless of the shape of this distribution, Chebyshev's theorem is going to hold. Let's do part A. What percent of the Danish men are between 64 and 76 inches? 
64 is right here and 76 is here. We're talking about what percent of the men would be between these two numbers in that interval. Well, this interval is one, two standard deviations of the mean, one, two standard deviations of the mean in either direction. And according to Chebyshev's theorem, at least 75% of the Danish men have to be within that interval. Now, at least 75% means 75% or more. It could be more. It cannot be less. At least 89% of Danish men are how tall? Chebyshev says at least 89% of a distribution is within one, two, three standard deviations of the mean in either direction, one, two, three. So at least 89% are within this interval. That means their heights are between 61 and 79 inches. End of unit 4C. See unit 4D for a discussion of the empirical rule for the normal distribution.